M, can I call you back? Just need to drop in on some old friends. When I was growing up, Nokia was regarded as the pinnacle of smartphones. It seems as though they've been on a steady decline ever since then. In 2014, they sold their mobile and devices division to Microsoft, who started making Windows phones. Things didn't go so well. Two years later, in 2016, they sold Nokia to HMD Global. And they've been trying to revive the brand, hence the collaboration with No Time To Die. Today though, we're talking about the Nokia 8.3 5G. This is not a review. If you want a detailed review video, I would leave a link to one in the description below. What I would be doing though is really talking about the cool new features that you would find on this phone, as well as answering the question, why would you buy the Nokia 8.3 5G? Well, it's really divided into two categories. The first, camera, and the second, software. Camera. It has a 64 megapixel main shooter with a 12 megapixel ultrawide, a two megapixel depth sensor, and a two megapixel macro lens. So it really is just about those first two cameras. The 64 megapixel main shooter, which doesn't necessarily equal quality, but definitely detail. So definitely you're going to get crisp, detailed shots with that 64 megapixel main shooter. And then obviously everyone loves an ultrawide. So you also get a 12 megapixel ultrawide with this camera. And you also get a 24 megapixel front facing camera. But that's not all. You get a feature called action cam mode, which allows you to take steadier videos. So it's basically just a stabilization mode. There is also something called Zeus effects. You get built-in cinematic effects. You also get anamorphic and blue flares to add to your already epic 4K footage. So yes, this phone shoots in 4K. Right now, there are tons of people who make and edit videos on their smartphone for TikTok, for Instagram Reels, for even YouTube. So there is definitely an audience of people who would be interested in the camera features of the 8.3 5G. So there you go, that's already one reason. Second, software. Now this is an Android 11 device. It's also an Android One device. So that means it gets two extra years of software support. And in the Android world, that is a big deal to have a smartphone that is set for the next three years. Because as we know, software updates really is what keeps a phone running. Another reason that some might you know, add to this list would be 5G. Not me though. Because of the 765G Snapdragon chipset, it does give you support for 5G. It also comes with six or eight gigabytes of RAM. So again, that is pretty steep. We also do get stuff like two day battery life. It's a 4,500 milliamp hour battery. And I don't think it would actually last two days for most people, but it seems like battery on this phone would be solid. A display size of 6.8 inches, which is great for content watching. And it also features something called pure display technology. It basically means that the display is really sharp. It's a 1080p display, but it's supposed to be like the best or sharpest 1080p display out there. So that really is it. I mean, good camera, good display, good battery, great software, good phone.